the energy vibration reading for um, the obsolete Sun Moon and rising sign I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the energy vibration reading for August 2018 for well, the month of August for you obsolete um, we're looking at the energies of um, the general energies is um, uh, temperance which is an earth sign and uh, um, for the two and a half first weeks because we have five weeks in this month for the two and a half of um, two and a half first weeks is a fire sign and for um, the two and a half last week it is an earth sign okay so for you obsoletes it's gonna be a wonderful time because you have the energy of the lover now the energy of the lover is is, is a very positive energy whatever the situation is that is going on it is a positive energy that is going to come in because you have to deal with the energies of the lovers so let's see for the obsolete is what is going to be happening I want to say thank you to um, Sadie for these wonderful cards all the cards that is going to be used in this week is from Sadie okay so let's see what is going on in the first week for the obsolete you have the Queen of Cups in the first week whatever the situation is whatever the energy is you have the energy of the Queen of Cups okay so that's a water sign you're a fire sign this could be that some of you it's your mom um, or it could be your um, partner okay it could be a family member your mom your sister or it could be your partner so there would be a situation we're going to look and see what is that all about then we have the energy of uh, um, we have the energy of uh, the Hierophant so some of you are having a, a situation with someone that is uh, working in a company that you're working with whoever this person is uh, um, you are seeing a situation that is transpiring um, with this person and it has to do with love is uh, um, the answer to this situation love is the answer to this situation let's see what's coming in in the third week the third week you have the energy of the high princess the third week you have the energy of the high princess okay so obviously you are being guided and if your mom your grandmother or someone has passed away that was in um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this is coming up they're coming up as a spirit guides for you guys okay let's go further and see what else is happening in the fourth week we have the energy of the ace of pentacles so this is wonderful the energy of the ace of pentacles is here in the fourth week so this is good so some of you could be receiving a payout from an organization in the fourth week okay let's see what else is happening there are conflicts there are conflicts five of ones conflicts conflicts to do with money whatever the situation is we're going to be looking forward so the message that is coming out is that some of you could be divorcing um, because the energy of an organization is here so some of you could be divorcing or some of you have a situation with an organization in the third week the eye princess comes up and this is wonderful because um, the eye princess is um, letting you know that there is money that is supposed to come to you but there is conflicts um, in the organization how this money should be paid out so let's look at the first week going in the second week what it is you are victorious you are victorious whatever the situation is whatever that was transpiring between you and a Pisces cancer or Scorpio in an organization you are um, extremely victorious over the situation you know you use uh, um, the, the intellect of information and you come out on top very victorious second week going in the third week we have uh, you have won the conflicts you have won the conflicts whatever the conflict was in your life with this person you have basically win this 
conflicts okay so some of you were having a conflict with someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion in an organization and uh, um, you have win this conflicts and the I princess comes in to let you know that there is going to be a payout that is coming in for you this could be a situation for some of you um, um, where you have to deal with your partner and whatever the situation is that you're dealing with um, um, a fish a cancer or a scorpion over the age of 40 or it could be an, an, a woman over the age of 40 um, you are going to win this battle what else is coming out um, we have uh, um, strength you have to find inner strength whatever the situation is you have to find inner strength and it's as if your princess and guides are going to be coming up and helping you find that inner strength so you can move forward and this is going to be good because once they come in to give you um, this um, push um, to find inner strength it's going to be working out in your favor news is coming in a lot of news is coming in it could be if you have your own business a lot of office is coming in you're going to be realizing that your business is going to be taken off because there is a, the ace of Pentacles with the ace of Wands, which is a, a fast place of money that means it is a situation where if you have a business um, money will be coming in or there will be a huge payout that is going to be happening for you guys okay let's look and see what do, um, what have you won because you have the ace of swords and the five of swords so you have one and you need to find temperance and balance temperance and balance this energy is the energy on the general energy of the month of August so it comes back to help you in the second week so some of you will be having some situation in the second week and you are going to be winning um, this um, conflict whatever the conflict is that is coming up in the second week you are going to be winning this as we look at the third week let's see what is uh, coming out the third week is that the energy of the devil is in the third week now whatever the conflicts is uh, and whatever is going on we have the energy of the devil now the energy of the devil have the energy of uh, strength coming in because the eye princess is going to help you to win um, this situation that is going on but there are still negative energies and negative people around in the fourth week you are going to receive a news of a new start in the fourth week and this new start is going to be wonderful because it, it's going to be aligning you as to um, the um, what decision to make to go forward in the month of September this is a positive energy so you have the ace of um, sword and you have the ace of one so whatever the situation is whatever that was transpiring whatever that was happening you're going to receive a message that you are going to be um, receiving this money that is hold to you okay you're going to receive a message that you're going to be receiving the money that was owed to you some of you you if you have a business or if you have a business that sort of a situation you're going to be realizing that your business is taken off it's as if uh, your business start to move forward whatever the blockage was um, that um, there was a stunt of growth you're going to be seeing this growth coming up because whoever was trying to block your way this person is going to be out okay some of you have to find inner strength with the conflicts but you're going to win this conflict and message is going to be coming to you as we look at the energy of temperance and the devil we have a new start okay so some of you are going to find a balance um, with a situation and you are going to be moving on a new new journey forward and this is going to be um, excuse, um very very good okay because you find in a balance um strength um against uh, the lower energy or people that was working against you and now you're going to be coming out on top you have the energy of the two of cups so this is good so 
there is a, it's a little tricky situation but whatever is happening um, you're going to be connecting with someone else and whoever this person is that you're connecting with they're about to bring some good news um, in the uh, third week going in the fourth week they are going to be um, bringing good news and this news could be that they want to connect with you in business that they want to connect with you in business let's see what is the outcomes from the, for the obsolete um, in this month um, victory and success a new start um, the outcomes is going to be some of you are going to be standing up against an injustice situation and standing up against someone this could be your partner if your partner is a if your partner is a um, if your partner um, is a um, Aquarian Gemini or Libra you're going to be standing up against this person okay so um, that is a good news some of you are going to be having heartbreaks over a situation but you're going to come out on top some of you are going to be having heartbreaks about a loss but you are going to be coming out on top I want to say to you guys be careful of uh, um, an Aquarius Gemini or Libra be careful of a, an, an Aquarius Gemini or Libra because this person could be trying to work against you um, and uh, um, it, you know it's not going to work out because you know the universe has a way of making sure that uh, um, and especially with the eye princess coming up in your reading the universe have a way that uh, um, it wants you to know that uh, no matter what is going on around you um, things are going to get better okay so you could be feeling heartbroken over a situation which you shouldn't be but I'm seeing the energy of the Queen or the King of Swords which is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra but some of you are going to be having a new start and um, you're going to be overcoming the situation um, be aware of this uh, Queen of um, King of Sword um, it is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra over the age of 40 be aware of this person because this person is not a uh, vibrating on the eye energy vibration okay let's look um, for the general readings um, um, and uh, if you'd like you can go to Vimeo and get an extension of this reading so let's look um, for the general reading what is happening here in the general reading for the people um, 18 between the ages of uh, 15 and 30 in general you have to deal with the knight of uh, Pentacles in general you have to deal with the knight of Pentacles now the knight of Pentacles could be coming up as uh, um, someone you're in relationship with or he could be coming up as uh, money is coming in for some of you so um, the Knight of Pentacles takes different form it could be um, a brother a sister or um, um, a partner okay let's see what's happening in um, work and career you have the king of oysters so a lot of you are dealing with these hurt sign people the king of oysters is coming up for you guys in work and um, in work in work and um, working career the king of oysters so this could be someone who is a mentor who is coming in for you um, and it could be a new boss that is coming in for you let's see the outcomes of love for this month of August you have the ace of Falcon now the ace of Falcon is the ace of swords you're victoriously overcoming a situation with this with um, these um, um, earth sign people okay so in love it's going to be good um, there's a, going to be a celebration and you start in love for a whole lot of you guys and this new start is going to bring you to a, a better place um, emotionally mentally and emotionally okay let's move on and look at the people 30 between the ages of 30 and 40 what's happening for the people between the ages of 30 and 40 in general a new offer is about to come in for you a new offer a new offer of love a new offer of work a new offer of help assistance is going to be coming in for you guys oh this is so wonderful for August 
let's move on and look and see what is coming out for work and career for work on career you have the energy of the hermit okay so it's as if um, you're trying to figure out what is your next move what should you do um, what should you um, uh, should you choose your uh, choose another career or which direction you should go it could be that you need to find out what it is that I need to study what direction should I move in this is uh, it's going to be happening in the first and second week okay let's look at love for the people between the ages of 30 and 40 for you obsolete what's the outcome of love for August you have the ace of Pentacle new love is coming in a new start in a relationship new start in a relationship and new love is coming in and this new love is going to be wonderful because I'm seeing a lot of new start in relationship and love relationship because it's the month of love for you guys there's a, whole, a lot of new start coming up let's look at the ladies 40 and older what is coming up in general for the obsolete ladies 40s and older you have the energy of the star in reverse okay energy of the star in reverse is some of you are going to be having a loss that's why um, the overlooking the card of the three of swords is here some of you are going to no it's um it's not a loss so some of you whatever you have lost is going to be returning because it's in the energy is in the reverse um, so whatever you guys it could be a loss for some of you but it could be whatever you have lost is going to be returned as we look at the energy for work and career for the ladies over 40 you have to deal with the king of falcon the, the king of swords whoever this person is is not a very nice person be aware of this person because this person um is not vibrating on the eye energy whatever the situation is as you look around is as if this person wants to take your take um your you know your your um uh, success away okay as, as if he wants to take your success away it is a horrible person a really nasty person um, this person uh, could be your partner um, and uh, or it could be your boss it could be coming in as your partner or your boss or a partner that you're in business with this uh, and it could be for some of you that is your mentor or your your tutor or that sort of a thing so be aware of this person what is coming out for love for the latest 40 and older for love you have the queen of uh, um falcon now the queen of falcon um some of you could be realizing that uh, um your partner is having a relationship with and um, your partner is having a relationship with an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra a lady over the age of 40 you could be um, um, realizing that your partner is really having um, an outside uh, relationship maybe this person was his ex or maybe this person is someone new that he's having and um, um, that he's having an um, a really um, uh, he's cheating on you with this person this person is an Aquarius Gemini or liberal or you could be seeing someone that you're um, this person is married to an Aquarius Gemini or liberal woman over 40 so be aware of this okay let's move on and see what exactly is happening for the king um, the men 40 and older in the general you have the energy of the seven of swords some of you men be aware because some of you men someone or yourself is going to try to do something to get away with it something deceitful is happening um, you could be the one that is being deceitful or a man dot is uh, um, um, a man that is a um, uh, Aries Leo or Sagittarius could be um, working with a deceitful um, energy vibration okay let's look at the career what is happening for the career for you guys um, in career um, you have the seven of uh, um, 
the seven of wands so some of you are standing your ground against this person and this is good because whoever this person is and it doesn't have to be you it has to do with someone um, that is doing something deceitful someone that is being very very much deceitful so you need to be aware of a situation that is happening okay you have twice the seven so you're on if you were thinking about something that something um, doesn't feel right or something is kind of weird is you're on the right part yes don't believe um, whatever is going on okay don't believe whatever is going on because someone is trying to do something and it could be an Aries Leo uh, um, a Saji yeah but it, it, it is more Aries or a Leo okay let's see what's coming out for the men um, 40 and older in love you have the king of hats so there is a lot of people who are having outside relationships or some of you if you're same-sex you could be connecting with someone who is uh, um, that you could be connecting with someone who is a um, Pisces cancer or a scorpion if not some of you could be realizing that um, your relationship that someone who is um, someone um, who you are in who is your partner that they are having an affair with uh, and uh, um, Aquarian or they could be um, an Aquarian uh, Libra or a Gemini or the king of hats could be a Pisces cancer or a scorpion it could be that some of you are going to realize that if you're in a relationship with either an Aquarius Gemini or Libra woman um, she is having an affair with a um, with a man that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion there is so many information in these reading and I'm gonna try and start doing an extended reading so people um, can be um, more aligned and aware of extra things because um, in 20 minutes or 25 minutes you can never um, get out all the information that needs to get out the last energy that I'm using and I'm seeing that a lot of you are going to try to balance out your um, emotional life your physical life the monetary life you're going to be trying to balance that out there is a lot of you that are going to be having situation with someone who is the king who is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra this man is a working trying you know there's a new start that is coming up but this man is trying to work against you but it's not going to happen all you have to do is call in the universal angels and guides and say divine intervention in this situation please move this person away from me in this dimension in all dimensions okay let's see what is coming out what do your animal spirit guides have for you guys oh my gosh this is wonderful the Phoenix in the reverse Phoenix in the reverse okay the Phoenix is one of the most beautiful cards in the deck because the Phoenix is just like the energy of the cosmic egg they're beautiful and it's in reverse so we are going to be looking to see um, why is the Phoenix in the ver in the reverse the Phoenix is supposed to be one of those beautiful birds and it is in reverse so we are going to be looking at the situation to find out why is it in reverse what is it that you're not working on what it is that you need to balance out in your life okay I like um, this um, um, animal um, spirit guides because it is just a wonderful wonderful um, um, energy that is coming in it's one of the most beautiful beautiful energies and you know you can call upon the angels and guides the guiding angels to come in um, it's a spirit energy which is one of the most beautiful energy and it says freedom from suffering past karmas recarnation okay so some of you are going to be receiving freedom from suffering a past karmas are going to be working out recarnation the Phoenix represent the transformation of our past it doesn't mean running from it entitled 
or bringing it back in the age the Phoenix employs on advanced technologies describing it in yoga as the turning of the implant through um, practical and uh, dedication tapas the essence of the Phoenix is with us when we realize we have been suffering too long and something must change we take a stand and we decide to live constantly instead of being driven by the unconscious mind and its long list of fears and overselling at that very moment the spark of the Phoenix is lifting and the greater um, bird help us burn through our baggages we no longer run from who we are what has happened to us or what we have done the stuckness and the debt the weight falling into the ashes and uh, uh, lightness and clarity emerge as the strength of consciousness folds the Phoenix lift our soul up 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 and we begin to recognize ourselves okay this is wonderful this is absolutely wonderful again maybe um, catching a glimpse in our eyes that wasn't there before look closely um, it's a sign the fire of transformation is upon your wings okay but it's in the reverse so what this is saying is that you need to um, redo yourself is like realigning yourself in this month and as you do that it's going to be very very wonderful and very positive namaste until next time